The Stance Minder is designed to provide each and every golfer with specific information that relates to just you and your game. Imagine hitting precise and accurate shots with confidence and consistency every time you step up to the ball. Well, now you can with the Stance Minder. When you hit golf balls, you need to do it in a, in a consistent position, and the Stance Minder puts a person consistently correct. The Stance Minder is no gimmick. You can retain the setup and the ball positioning and the club face squareness and go right out on the golf course and all you have to do is loosen up properly. The Stance Minder will change your game only for the best. Golf is a game of passion, but you can't play well and you won't have fun unless you know the basics. Most golfers think they understand the importance of proper stance, alignment, and setup, yet they spend hundreds, even thousands of dollars on everything from new clubs to novelty training aids and still never master the true foundation and the key to success in golf, the ability to hit the ball consistently straight and far every time you strike the ball. Now you have the secret of the pros, the stance minder. Your game is about to change forever, and to help introduce you to it is the man who can teach you how to be successful with the Stance Minder. Here is one of the most respected golf teachers in the world, Mr. Hank Haney. You know, I've taught thousands of golfers to play the game over the years, including many of the top professionals in the world. The one aspect of the game I have always stressed is the importance of the basic fundamentals, specifically setup, which includes stance, address, and alignment. Take it from me, the Stance Minder will dramatically improve your game if you use it repeatedly. Here's what you need to do. Number one, thoroughly read the instructions that come with your Stance Minder. Each element discussed is extremely important, and if you're serious about improving your game, make sure you pay attention to all the detailed instructions carefully. Number two, practicing as often as possible is the key to great results. Hitting balls with your Stance Minder is important so you become comfortable with the feel of your proper setup. However, if you can't go out and hit balls, you can continue to develop your feel by using the stance minor and just working on your setup. Number three, once you're out on the golf course, pick out a line from the ball to your target and visualize the stance minor in place. If you have had significant practice and hit a sufficient number of balls with the stance minder, you will soon reach your ultimate goal of having a proper, consistent setup. The stance minor addresses all of the following, proper width of your stance, proper foot position, proper ball position, correct distance from the ball, correct posture, hand position at address, head position at address, club face alignment, and of course, body alignment to the target. Now I'm going to give you an example of how to personalize the stance minder just for you. And joining me today is Matt, and Matt's going to, we're going to personalize the stance minder just for you here, bud. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the width of your shoulders. Okay. Okay. So we've got a, a yardstick right here on the stance minder, and I'm going to go to the outside of your shoulders, and we've got 19 inches. Okay. Okay. So that's going to be the, the foot position. Okay. And the second thing that we're going to measure is, is the length of your arms, basically. And we're going to fold that up. The stance minor is 36 inches long. It's got some measurements on it. So when we measure it here, we find you're 33 and a half inches. Okay. And then the third measurement that we need is the length of your club. We're going to measure the five iron on the stance minder. We've got 24 inches there. And then we've got an additional 15 inches. So it's 39 inches. Right. Okay. Now when we go to the chart that you've got, you're going to look and you're going to see that with you know, your length of, of arms, and with that length of club, you're going to be 22 and a half inches away from the ball That's right. with a 5-iron, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and set it down. We're going to... So my stance width is 19. Your stance that's width is 19 was. with your 5-iron. Okay. Okay, now it's going to get a little wider with your driver. It's going to get narrower with your with your wedge. That's all going to be in your, in your chart, so you're going to, you know, measure the length of your clubs and then that's factored in you know obviously with the length of your arms so you're going to find your correct distance from the golf ball. Okay. Well, we're, we're going to just test this out here and just do it with a five iron and when we set it up we put you 22 
and a half and a half inches away from the golf ball. Where do we measure that? We from measure here? it from the outside of the stance minder here. Okay. Okay. And the ball is going to be about three inches from the end of the stance minder. Okay. Okay. And and I, and I aim this at my target, or I aim it just a few feet left, you parallel aim it left. Just a little bit left of the target, because we're looking at parallel lines, just kind of like a railroad track. You know, the image of, of two railroad tracks, and the stance minder is is a little bit on the the inside track and the, okay. the ball is a little bit on the outside track. So parallel lines. Okay, so parallel lines, just 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 a little bit left of your target. All right, so you're going to go ahead and step in here. You put your feet just about a half inch away from the stance minder here, and your toes exactly up to the toe line, so everything's nice and parallel. You set the club face down, and you want the club face always to be perpendicular to your target. Okay. So you're going to feel like like if the stance minder just extended right out here, it would be exactly in line with your club face. Okay. If you so set I can the, slide my club right out here yeah. and then see that it's square. Exactly. That'd be a great way to do it. Just slide the club just from there, boom, right out to square. Okay. Your distance from the golf ball is really what determines your posture. Right. I mean, if you were standing like if we had this stance and you were too close to the ball, you'd have to stand real upright. Right. Or if you were too far from the ball, you'd bend over too much. Right. So getting the correct distance from the golf ball is what's so very important for you to get the correct posture to set up over the golf ball. And this okay. feels very balanced and, and Exactly. Correct. Your weight's right about toward the balls of your feet. Now your knees are slightly flexed. You know, your back is pretty straight. Your arms are hanging comfortably down from your shoulders. Okay. Now when you line up, you want your, your club face to be pointed at the target, right. but you want your feet, your knees, your hips, your shoulders, your arms, and your eyes all parallel to the left of your target. Okay. okay? So they're all parallel to the stance minder. All right. Right. So you got the correct posture, you got the correct club face alignment, your distance from the golf ball is correct. The last thing is the ball position. We've got the stance minder set up here to practice with a five iron. Right. You can practice with any club in the the bag. But it's designed so that you've got three clubs that kind of give you a, a starting point. Right. The driver, the five iron, and the wedge. And then all your clubs can fit in between. And the ball position is so very important because when you swing the golf club, you swing the club on an arc. It goes from inside to straight and back to the inside. You want to contact the ball right when you're square. If okay. you put the ball too far back in your stance, you're going to contact it too early, you're going to push to the right. If you put the ball too far forward in the stance, you contact it too late and you pull to the left. So the stance minder helps you find a consistent, correct ball position. Another great feature of the stance minder is it'll allow you to find the correct hand position. Okay, you've got the club face lined up square, right. okay, perpendicular to your target line. And if you look down, straight down through the shaft of the club, that club should bisect this little indicator that says five iron. Right, I see okay. that. All right, that's going to tell you that your hands are in the correct position. If you had your hands back too far here, then you're going to have a tendency to take the club too much to the outside. Right. If you had the hands too much forward here, you're going to take the club too much to the inside. So ideally, you set up in this correct hand position, looking straight down, you see the shaft's going to bisect this indicator that says 5 iron, and you'll know your hands are in the correct position. Right. So club face is square, hands are in the correct position. Now, when you work with the other clubs, obviously, you know, your distance from the golf ball is going to change. You know, as a driver, you're going to get farther from the golf ball, and you know you're going to have the ball farther forward in your stance. So the ball is going to be moving around a little bit, but that's right. all right in the chart. You can practice with it, and then every club in the bag, you can kind of find your way to the correct setup. We suggest you practice with the driver, and the five iron, and the wedge, kind of get consistent there, and then you can work around from that point. Okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. I like it. I think you're good to go there, bud. Thanks. I Very good. It. Thanks for your help. Remember, you can hit a good shot from an incorrect position, but to build consistency, accuracy, and distance into your golf game, you must start from the proper position. The stance minder will get you there. If at first your setup feels crowded or uncomfortable, it only means that you'll become accustomed to an improper position. Give the stance minder a chance and stick with it. And believe me, you will see a dramatic improvement. Good luck and have fun. That's the name of the game.